guys, it's Megan and today I'm doing a much needed declutter video, which I know we all love declutters and I definitely do declutters probably every season it seems like. I just get the itch to go through my stuff and just make sure there's nothing that doesn't need to be there, stuff that I can pass on, as well as stuff that really needs to be thrown away. And I have a makeup bag full of stuff that needs to go and I love this makeup bag from Benefit. Laughter is the best cosmetic. I totally believe that. A smile is the best cosmetic and then a laughter. Laughter is just the best thing in the world. And I have this full bag and then a few things on the side as well. So these are things that I've been pushing off letting go of for one reason or another, whether I have like an emotional connection to it or I just kept trying to make it work and it just never did, but I held on to it. And there are things that I just never ever use and I don't enjoy using them. And some need to be tossed immediately and some can find a better home. And that is the thing that I love the most about decluttering is that I get to pass these things on to my friends and family and let them enjoy them more than I do in my collection because I definitely have the most makeup of anyone I know in my real life and so they appreciate it much more than I do and stuff stuff just sitting in my drawers makes me upset because I know that it can get better use and so some of these things fall into that category and some stuff just needs to go. So the first thing that might be um, pretty surprising to a lot of people because this is a product that I feel like is sought after by many many people it's the Anastasia Master Palette by Mario so Chloe got this for me two years ago I think is when it came out and I love the sleek design and it has let's see 12 eyeshadows in here and I've used it probably like five or six times like not very many times over the time that I've had this and the reason I don't like this and the reason I am going to um ask Chloe if she wants it or pass it on to another friend if she doesn't is that all of the shades are very much the same depth like if you put any of these shades with another one it just muddies up the look and you just can't get a lot of depth and contrast with the shades in this palette. Like there's nothing wrong with the shades, but I just don't find that this is a palette that I reach for like ever. And when I do, I don't love the looks that I get out of it. It needed more lighter colors and darker colors. It's just a lot of this mid-tone shade that it's fine for a one shadow look, but I'm not going to reach for a whole palette to do a one shadow look. I want to like use a variety of colors. And when I do that, I just don't get a look that I enjoy. So for that reason, I am parting with this. It's something that I've been thinking about decluttering for a long time, but just the fact that so many people love it so much made me like question why I wanted to get rid of it. But then I realized that I just can't make a look with this that I really enjoy. So I'm gonna see if Chloe wants this, and if not, I'll pass it on to another friend. Another thing that I'm gonna see if Chloe wants is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. So I love this foundation, but this summer I had like a span of like three weeks or so where I was self tanning like very consistently and I felt like I needed a d deeper foundation because I wear the lightest shade in any foundation pretty much and then since I was self tanning I had like a white ghost face and like a tan body and it just didn't work no matter if I used bronzer or not it was like crazy so I got this in shade 205 natural beige which is a beautiful shade if you're tan but if you're pale as a ghost like me it doesn't work at all unless I'm actively self tanning and I will not be actively self tanning until next summer and I don't just want this sitting around and I think that this is a pretty good color for Chloe so I'm gonna um, see her in a few weeks and see if she wants this because I've used it like three times and it's basically brand new so that was just such a stupid thing like it made sense in the moment like I need a foundation that matches me but it also was just like what am I doing like I don't know. So Chloe is probably gonna get a new foundation. 
Okay, then I have this brush from Real Techniques. This is a brush that recently was sent to me from Real Techniques, and I love this cool like handle and how pretty it is. And this is their 304. It's like a fan brush. It is just so flimsy and I don't know. You would I feel like you would only use this with something that that's extremely powdery and pigmented so you barely need any but with the products that I use I like to be able to more so buff it into my face instead of just like dust it. I feel like this is like a dusting brush and while I could find a way to use it I just know that I'll pretty much never use this brush so I'm going to pass it on and see if anyone wants that. Then I have quite a few lip products and most of these are going in the garbage. So I looked through all my lip products and I I have a lot of lip products for someone that doesn't switch up her lipstick very much, um, but a lot of them are fine. They're beautiful. I use them, but some of them, they have mold. Oh my god. I don't want to say it out loud, but they have mold. So... I am getting rid of, <laughs> for those of you guys who have been here for a long time with me, you guys know my L'Oreal Color Riche Balm in Nourishing Nude was my holy grail, like most beloved lip product of all time. It is so gorgeous. I love this product so much, but they reformulated it, changed the color, all that stuff. So you can't get this uh, product anymore. And I stocked up on this lip product when it was when I found out that it was being changed and discontinued. So I have five backups and three of them have mold. So goodbye, going in the trash immediately. Um, the two that are still good, I am going to actively work on using up like as fast as possible um, because I love them, but also because I do not want more stuff going bad. Like that's such a waste of money. I bought it because I was frantic and didn't want to be without it. And I don't want to do stuff like that anymore because why do I need five backups of something? Like I'll never be able to use those all up before they go bad. So um, one backup is like, okay like I don't really want to do that either but one backup is one thing but more than two backups of anything I don't know how I would ever be able to use that up in time before it expires so saying goodbye to that also one of my um bite beauty lipsticks in um zen has like suspicious kind of like speckles on the side of the bullet so if your lipsticks just don't look quite right like they have like this kind of matte like dots on the lipstick I would get rid of it because it's probably mold and you don't want that near your mouth where you can ingest it like imagine how much lip product we ingest all the time and Bite Beauty products are more natural and they're like safe to eat but I feel like because of that they go bad quick so I'm saying goodbye to this color um, this one isn't bad, but I just don't really like it. It's the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in the shade Pink Grapefruit. So this was a mini I got from Ulta a while ago in like a gift with purchase. I love the chubby stick and how it twists up. I think that that's amazing, but um, I just never wear pink lipstick. I'm not a pink lipstick person. I just never have really gravitated towards pink. So um, like in terms of lip products, so I don't really like this on myself and never reach for it. So I'm going to toss that. And then I have two Milani lipsticks that I've had for a long time. And I never fully liked these because of the scent. They are, I don't know. There's just like something about it that I don't enjoy wearing it. And yeah, it's just like a weird smell and taste. I don't like how they are on my lips. So I'm just going to toss these because they're a few years old and I don't want anyone to get them and then have them go bad like immediately. So saying goodbye to those. So that's a lot of stuff I'm just tossing. Um, also some stuff that I have been pushing off decluttering but really just needs to go are my pencil eyeliners. I never 
ever use pencil eyeliners. I don't find that they last very well. I don't really ever put anything in my waterline, so I don't need a pencil for that. Um, I have one brown pencil liner just in case, um, but other than that, I don't really use pencil liners. And I love the colors of these L'Oreal Silk Kiss Me, um, but these do not last at all. They just disappear and so it's not worth it to keep them around just to collect dust because I never reach for them. And then I have this NYX Slide On Glide On in Glitzy Gold which is fine but again I just never use pencil liners. So these would be like these NYX ones are great. I just bought one for my mom because she needed a black pencil liner and this is an amazing formula but I just never use pencil. So I'm saying goodbye to those and I'll just toss them because they're a few years old. Then I have um, an eyeshadow. This looks like pretty disturbing. Um, this is one of the Milk Cosmetics eyeshadows and they come in a stack that magnetize to each other. So if you take one out, it's just like plain like this. Um, this is Harsh Stone White and it's just like chunky and... It just never looked very good when I used it. It was part of the gunmetal stack and I love all the other colors, but this one just always annoyed me because it's like flaky and doesn't look like metallic. It's just like chunks of glitter that don't stick around. So I'm just tossing this because unless you have a Melt Cosmetics stack, you can't like store it. Something that I've literally been needing to get rid of for a very long time, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it is this Giorgio Armani Master Corrector in number one. So it's been laying sideways so you can't tell but I have probably used more than half of this and uh, this is a like peachy color corrector. It has a super fine brush that you can get right to where the darkness is. I just... I just don't really need this. I thought I did because I have very pale skin so like the blue color of my veins really is apparent um, under my eyes but I just didn't notice this like really working wonders on my um, veins or whatever and so I used a lot of it and I enjoyed it for what it was but it wasn't a step that I thought was really necessary so I've had this for a few years so I'm just gonna toss it even though it's expensive but if you really need like color correcting this is an amazing value it'll last you forever um and yeah so I just need to get rid of it because I've literally been staring at it for years just <laughs> like feeling bad about getting rid of it but I never use it so I'm gonna toss that then this is something I'm going to pass on. It's the Fursi Beauty Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. This is a newer product and I have like spoken highly about it. I think that it's a nice concealer. It's very lightweight but has pretty good coverage for how thin and blendable it is but it really really creases on me. It it I feel like I'm the opposite of everyone. Like all the time I have like the opposite opinion of like everyone on YouTube and Everyone says that this does not crease on them and for me it creases terribly and I barely use any product like I see people piling concealer on and I never do that. I just don't like how it looks and how it feels. I just use one like I take the um, wand out use half on one and the other side on the other so it's not like I'm using much product but it just settles into like the few fine lines that I have and my other concealers don't do that to me so it's not worth it to keep in my um for my routine so I'm gonna see if maybe my mom wants it or someone wants it um but it's okay but it's just not something that I really enjoy. Then I have this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter and Halo Goodbye. I recently purchased this I got it for like two dollars or something um and I like this, but I just don't love it. It's a liquid highlighter that has a huge doe foot and it's very pretty. It's very, very nice. It is. Um, and it gives your skin like that nice, like pretty, like sheen to it. But it's very like silicone-y when I like rub my fingers together. I just don't really like the texture, even though it's very beautiful on the skin. 
if I were to use a liquid highlighter, I know I'm going to reach for my Becca. So because of that, and since it's so new, I'd rather just pass it on to a friend like as soon as possible so they can get good use out of it. So I just know I won't reach for this over my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. That is just so much better um, for me and my use for it. This is just, it's a good product, but I don't prefer it over what I have. So I'll pass that along. And then I have my, <laughs> this is gonna probably be upsetting to some people as well, um, my Burberry Pale Barley Shadow. So this is the original formula. You can tell I've used a shitload of it. Um, I obviously loved this eyeshadow. Like, I can't make that much pan in a very, this is like a huge eyeshadow. This has um, 2.5 grams. I feel like that is like a ginormous eyeshadow. It's very, very nice. The formula is very nice, but I used it the other day because I never reach for it. I never reach for this shadow anymore, and I was like, why don't I reach for that? Is it just because I have a lot of pan and I don't want to use it up, or like, what's the deal? I used it, and my eyeshadow just looked muddy, and I did not like how it looked. It just isn't the right color for me. Like, I just don't like it. So I am going to toss this because it's been heavily used over years. I bought this probably in 2014. I remember when I worked at Bed Bath & Beyond, looking forward to buying Burberry eyeshadows was one of my, like, favorite things to do when I got my paycheck. Like, I would just like go on Nordstrom.com and find a Burberry eyeshadow to buy because I just loved them so much and they're really great quality but I just don't enjoy this and once I don't enjoy using something I don't want it around taking up space so Pale Barley is awesome <laughs> like from the memories that I have with it I will always have a special place in my heart. I love Burberry eyeshadows and I still have four but it's just time to say goodbye to this um but yeah so don't like burn me at the stake for this but I just never use it. And then I have two skincare products for my last things. This is the Saturday Skin Rise and Shine Gentle Cleanser. This is something that I um, got from the company, so I didn't purchase this, and I've used it, I used it probably for a month straight, and I just couldn't figure out why I didn't enjoy using it. I was like, what's wrong with me? I love this brand, like literally everything else that I've tried from this brand I love, um, but this, just leaves my skin with like this weird feeling like a tight not like really tight but like a squeaky kind of film feeling on my skin and um the ingredients aren't listed on the packaging I think it comes in a box and the box has the ingredients so I don't know what the like main culprit for that feeling is but I just don't enjoy this and so I'll see if Rachel wants this or Chloe wants this but it is like a cream um cream cleanser so it doesn't really lather but it doesn't leave my skin feeling moisturized so for that reason I don't like it um I love the packaging but I just don't really like the product and then finally these masks I have had in my collection for over a year and I have need I've wanted to get rid of them for over a year these are the package everyday bouncy facial masks and nose strips it's really cute it comes in like a nice box with all of them and there are still probably like six or seven in here of the full mask and then a, a lot of these like nose strips I just don't enjoy them. I don't like the fit of them. I don't like how they feel. Um, I don't know what to do with these other than to try to give them away to friends that don't really have like high expectations of masks. But I just don't like these and they're taking up space. I don't like when I notice the box on my shelf, it makes me mad. <laughs> so there's no sense in keeping them around when I never ever use them. So that I am finally saying goodbye to and I'm very proud of myself for getting rid of all of this stuff because for one reason or another, like I just explained, they don't bring me happiness, I don't use them, they could go to a better home or they can go in the trash and I just feel a lot better when I get rid of the products that make me feel a negative way, whether it's like the pale barley, it just didn't make me feel 
beautiful and good and I want my products to make me feel my best and that's like the reason we use makeup and use skincare is to feel our best it's like an additional thing and there's no sense in keeping stuff that doesn't make us feel amazing so I hope you guys enjoyed this I love watching declutters and like products I regret buying because it gives you such great insights to the product and to the person and their taste and so I hope you love this video and definitely give me a thumbs up because that's always fun and comment below with what products you are decluttering or have decluttered recently I just love knowing that kind of stuff so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye